So, let us take this thing fast of course, I mean you do not think that whatever research scopes I will be telling everything to you is not that I will give the ideas and that is the end because there are it is unlimited things no. So, but let us see some of the things what we could do uh, for future. So, the first questions you know as is as it happening that IOT is spreading actually the questions will be asked why IOT now and it is very difficult to answer why IOT now. Of course, it has got advantages in using and it has impacts in every sectors and that is what IOT is spreading and it will spread in unlimited way. So, right now almost like you know, 8, 8 to 10 billions of devices are connected and another 5 years time we will have 50 billion devices available in around us. So, the spreading now if you think the Moore law which is quite famous for integrated circuits they actually tell that every you know, 10 years it will be double, but actually it is happening even faster. In terms of IoT one of the most important requirement is that how can you make the sensor node with very low power capability. So, that is one of the most important and in order to do that we have to do research in the different materials whether sensor is made for different applications chemical, biological, physical. So, we have to do lot of research on material ok. So, the material scientist they have to think of now in this situation if you say it is the job of the material scientist that is not the end of the story is not it because my student who is working in cost he is actually doing research on different material different structure. So, it is the it is the responsibility of the designer who may not be having material science background look into the material aspect. Transceiver as I said always the transceiver consuming huge amount of power and also the size because if you see Jigby, Jigby is not very small which is almost like 25 millimeter to around 40 millimeter. So, it is a big area. So, in terms of making a small sensor node you need to improve that part. So, wireless device they have to be size small uh, less expensive as well as the power consumption. And another important thing is the battery because battery will be there ok. I mean you will be lucky that some applications you get electricity directly, but most of the situation wireless sensor node they will have battery. So, the battery will be rechargeable battery and with some kind of energy harvesting capability. So, we need to design develop batteries which are high energy density battery and also it will be equipped with the energy storage. Another problem another thing is that the acceptability among the society I mean lot of people are talking about the privacy and including the privacy issues. So, how do you deal with that how can you actually make the system so that people will not be you know against using IOT. So, let us say current state of the art. So, <coughs> nodes so which are the fundamental element in IOT. So, the sensing material which has lot of opportunities of research different applications most of the time if you think of that you are actually focusing a particular application and you are designing and developing to target that particular applications you have a target in front of you and the outcome of the research is target driven which is much more useful and much more quick than other way of doing research. So, most of our research we think of a specific applications how can we actually target that applications and how can we find the solution. You if you are if you are lucky you are wor working in an area where you can design integrated circuits you will give you get some advantage. Similarly, packaging things can be a if you make everything in one integrated package with environmentally friendly power supply you know whether you could extract power from other source other than solar and the battery ok. So, those are the areas where you we still need improvement ok. So, that comes in the sensor area. So, you will find the in this uh, list there are different nodes 
designed and developed by different manufacturer with time. Sometimes you may not be as, as our problem, we may not design any nodes, we have to see which one gives us the best performance within the given situation. So, that is way sometimes you have to go, but if you are in a situation where you can design and develop your own nodes, suppose you are working in Intel for example, okay, then situation is different. Okay. So, this gives a huge amount of nodes which are available in market. So, many people will ask that whether research on WSN and on IoT is a waste. Okay. So, I do not think so, because I think that uh, there will be many applications, IoT will be kind of a backbone. Okay. I mean if you think of the logistic management, okay. so device produced, a device or product is produced and they are distributed through supply chain management going to the user, I mean tracking it is a huge application, it is a IoT, of course you may say is RFID, but if you use RFID with internet that gives a huge important is not it. So, there are some applications where IoT will be kind of essential and you cannot have anything alternative to IoT, okay. even though there are some challenges, but still. So, if we say that we can we wait 10, 15 years, okay, by the time there will be new privacy law, <laughs> you can solve the problem. Okay. Is it the right thing to do? I do not think that is the answer, is not it. So, still after 10, 15 years we will still face lot of difficulties, because if you think of the wireless sensor node, it came almost like 15, 20 years now, is not it. We had some issues at that time, research improvement going on over time, but still we are having some issues. So, still we will face the limited storage, we will face the power issue. So, driving force, what are the driving force? Of course, one is the main thing is the economic factor. Sometimes you will find that you develop something, you have to replace the old technology which is used currently. Okay. Now, unless somebody actually has the justification that investing extra amount of money gives him more advantage, people will not be very much willing to do so, is not it. So, that is one of the most important factor that economic factor. Wireless sensor whether they actually replace all wired sensors, sometimes you may actually justify yes you do not have any wiring which gives you lot of advantages, also it will be more flexible because wired sensor means you need to have the power socket somewhere available. So, you will get more advantage, but again the issue is that whether economically you are having the advantage. Okay. So, those are the things will be always a factor, the cost is always a factor okay. and then once you could actually justify the cost, then sometimes you will be in a better shape and then of course, it will improve the quality, product quality and the product features. So, novelty, second thing is the novelty. Sometimes something comes in the market and you find it was very, very nice, very funny, is not it? And after a few months, few years, you do not see that thing. So, those type of things can also make a factor, unless it really change certain important things, then you will find that they are actually not long lasting. So, few things are like Java rings, internet watches wireless sensor for dating or meeting new people, personal wireless sensor for fun, temperature monitor you can carry on all these things came, stayed for some months, some years and then just vanished. Sometimes we are forced to adopt something new because of legal requirement. Like in, in New Zealand a child cannot be in the car unless you have a special car seat. Okay. So, up to 7 years you have to have a special car seat for the child. Now, if you do not like it, you cannot take your child outside your home. So, you have to similarly some other applications where the legal requirement enforce people to adopt something that can actually help to start using new technologies. So, companies sorry, companies use new technologies 
if they do not use that they may be shrewd is not it by customer. So, sometimes they use especially when few companies have competition somebody using neutral energy otherwise those old people old old companies who are not using the new technology they may be understood. So, there will be a problem. So, like this one temporary sensor to detect coffee that is too hot this type of applications do you think that it is is good do not know I mean it depends where you actually keep the sensor is not it. So, if the if the sensor is contaminated position people may not like it ok you know the temperature, but how much temperature is good ultimately you actually use your leaves and tongues is not it. So, there are some things which are coming, but not so much entertainment is one of the area where actually new technology is very easy to be introduced ok people like you know fun and something new. So, playing games sometimes lot of lot of new technology comes in the gaming things lots of games right now actually what happened you know many people go to the game and play and they sit down for hours and that also create lot of physio physiological problems. So, there are some technology developed where you actually can get feedback of your posture while you are playing. So, those type of new things are coming up and that is easy to add up there. Similarly, internet browsing games on cellular phones 3D visualization there are new things actually there are many many research going on many computer scientists those who are actually more on the developing apps they are actually in this area of research ok. So, this is the new area where you could easily easily do something. Sometimes it may not be for technical superiority. So, useful technology may not dominate in the market because what happened when you have some new technology you just cannot bring it to the market unless you test it and make it you know false false safe. So, there is a delay in getting to the market sometimes you bring something like IOT IOT actually still do we do not have any standard general standard different company use there are different different standards. So, lack of standardization can be a problem sometimes the applications may be limited consumer preference. So, may consumer may not like it that is what the acceptability. So, there are something like in earlier days the video home system by Philips and that was challenged by Sony Betamax. So, there was a problem and also marketing things another issue you know sometimes you see that uh, people are convinced when it is market properly ok you think oh that is really good. So, and sometimes we, we use something because there is no alternative ok. So, those are the things also can help. So, some of the applications of wireless sensor smart home is going to come because uh, people like the positive sides of it. So, that will going to come smart offices will also come smart building smart city. So, many things related to the smart sensing applications. So, that is one of the research area and it is is going to come there are some applications which is biological and biomedical and medical. So, some monitoring even like uh, there are some research going on where uh, the blind people they can actually see through different sensing things. So, that is also uh, in the in the trial stage. So, there are lots of different applications coming up you know in the implant artificial retina. In fact, in the hospital wireless sensor is actually uh, becoming very very useful because if you think of the patient monitoring patient monitoring through wireless sensor can be very handy otherwise the nurse they have to go through each and every one and sometimes it is very very difficult because uh, something happens and they do not go at the right time is not it. So, wireless sensor network based monitoring can be very very useful for the hospital applications. In the military of course, there will be lots of lots of applications of, but this will be beyond our scope because sometimes the military applications there are you know different way of dealing the privacy you know, confidentiality all these are very important. So, only few people can do that. 
industrial commercial also there are lots of applications of the wireless sensor network and uh, IoT uh, especially in the agriculture application there is a huge applications of the wireless sensor network starting from the crop to harvesting, storage, quality monitoring, dispatch. So, there will be different stage of usage of the sensing and system. Traffic management, it may not be uh, normal sensor, mainly like camera based sensor. So, uh, like in UK, one of my friend he has got a project where almost like 100,000 cameras are installed. Okay? In UK everywhere you go, you are actually tracked by camera and you know the last few incident where the terrorism thing, terrorist things happen. So, they are using more and more cameras and the camera is one of the applications of the internet based network, is not it? Because all the cameras they need to be connected. It is a very huge research problem, but still I mean how can you track and how can you get that person very quickly without much processing and without much memory. So, these are the research. So, lots of different research going on on the camera, design of the camera. So, CMOS based sensor and other things are com coming up. So, it is a good, good area of research uh, for monitoring the traffic and other things. New technology, sometimes somebody comes up with something you know very, very useful and that can be can change many things. So, I mean many times it happens that you do not actually plan to develop something. No, many times it is something happened in an unexpected way and then you get out of it. So, many things come like that and then of course, uh, some kind of like if you think of the, the research on the drugs, different types of drugs. So, they actually come from the anticipated use. So, if you have all the medical records, based on the medical records, you actually can see okay, this type of problems people are facing. So, there is a need of new drug to actually address those issues. So, that comes as a anticipated, but then you have some other problem where the surprising things happen. So, technological challenges, there are lots of technological challenge, most important thing is that sensor which actually face lot of noisy environment. So, there are some influence of the environmental things, so a sensor how can you make the sensor more accurate. So, at the moment like GPS, uh, so it happened like uh, so two weeks back I was in Portugal and uh, we, we are using GPS sensor for following the road, but if you have sometimes the accuracy of the GPS sensor, you know, in here is 2.8 meters, but my friend was using like 10 meters and if you have two <laughs> roads very close. So, we did few times we did mistake. So, that type of situation can happen. So, the sensor need to be quite robust and noise free. Humidity sensor, the Professor Islam group is doing lot of uh, research on humidity sensor but there are lots of challenges. So, there is a need of making new sensor and making the system very robust, avoiding the, avoiding the noisy things. And the wireless channel also there are lots of limitations at the moment from noise, interference, link connections, unidirection links. So, we always feel the from the telephone things, we always feel the call drops. So, there is also a lot of new research area. And I was telling yesterday that if we could make the, the wireless sensor coordinator as mobile base stations. So, there may be some improvement on that and actually 5G insist on that type of uh, development. So, there is a scope here and then environmental factor, how actually you can make your sensor robust, no? totally unaffected from the environmental factor for rain, sleet, snow, hail, all these things, but still sensor will operate without any problem. Temperature variations, different country face different types of different types of weather. 
So, how can you actually make your sensor? So, sensor can still operate at very extreme conditions, but your interference electronics they may not need to be designed at that. So, how can you actually separate them? So, sensor will be little bit far and then your interesting electronics will be under normal. So, you face high humidity conditions, saline conditions, corrosive environment, wind speed all these things are the natural things and when you develop the things you have to take into account those. So, there are lots of challenges and also it provides lots of opportunities. So, how we will see IoT and OL WSN in near future? So, you will find that there will be large scale deployment of course, environment and monitoring you need to have large scale deployment, but you need to make the cost lower better protocol at the moment what we have may not be enough and we need to go for the what is the advantage we can get from the dense network. So, that is one of the things will happen. Second thing what will happen you will have heterogeneous sensor. So, the sensor of different types sensor gives you different types of output sensor measuring different types of parameters. So, you have completely heterogeneous sensor. So, we may sometimes think that our sensor what we have in the protocol are homogeneous, but unfortunately it may not be the case. So, you will have different types of functionality and you may have different types of sensor some sensor may be very cheap some sensor may be expensive you may need some kind of special communication protocol and also expensive sensor like GPS type of sensor which are expensive. So, you may have them also in your system. And then you may need to develop mobile sensor. So, as I was telling that the coordinator what we have for the wireless sensor network may be located at one fixed point, but in future how can you make it mobile. So, then you get the advantage of making it as a as a mobile base station. So, so this was the sensor like if you, you can you can have some kind of arrangement. So, the sensor actually move from one point to other point. and it need to be low power. So, network also there will be some change. So, we can think of the right now what is happening is the network which is actually single purpose network, but in future the networks will be complicated. Okay. So, different new applications we have to think of sensor, sensor need to adapt new changing environment we may have to have more memory and CPU, so that it can deal with different complex applications and we need to introduce more flexibility, so that we can get more better market. So, these are the issues where we can think of doing something to deal with the future complex and the overlapping the coverage areas. So, right now the sensor de deployed are for specific applications, but we have to think of in future they will actually overlap physically and so sensor may have different properties. We may actually combine different types of sensor for new applications. So, for example, temporary sensor for HVAC control or tracking of employee comply this fire risk operation. So, these days actually lots of lots of new research is coming up and you will find that those are having some applications in some different situation. And also it is not that all will be wireless sensor in some application wired sensor may give better better result ok. Performance wise wireless, wired sensor are much better than wireless sensor. So, you have to think of that it can be combination of these two, because wired sensor you do not have the problem of the power, because you are getting the power from the electric supply. So, you can actually have sensor bigger, more processing ability, more memory and so on. So, for the as the through the internet we need gateway and uploading downloading information cannot have any other options and how can we modify the task remotely. So, internet of things and increase direct use or interaction. So, that is what I mean more internet connectivity means more people using it. So, these are the things which is going to happen. So, what are the problems we have? At the moment we do not have any standard for internet of things. So, we need that we do not know when it will come because as I said that right now 
things are pushed by the different um, companies and they are following their own thing which will not be easy to replace because there is a business issue. So, we need a compatible sensor, compatible standard and compatible technology so that we can actually have the interoperability. So, there are different things. So, TCP IP we use for the internet, Java for programming internet and then SLP Gini I802 protocol. And also we need a service discovery protocol, so, so that we can have a standard interface among sensor above the physical layer. So, there is a need on that, but this is of course out of the scope of research of general people, this should, should come. So, the service discovery protocol, okay, so anything can happen. So, when some new device comes, we need to have the calibrations which can be automated, we can have the configuration dynamically, we can if we uh, actually have the interaction or the cooperation among resources, then it can make the system better. So, basically sharing, so actually cloud is that is actually provide the sharing things. So, we can share the service provided by the cloud, cloud computing and the so, it also helps the less duplication of the functionality and novel interactions in the future. So, there are lots of possibilities we may actually need to see in future. Of course, always we have the security and privacy issues. Okay. So, what hap happened as some people they will be very much concerned. So, among that society there will be slow penetration, is not it? Because if people do not accept, then it will be, it will make the thing slow. But some area where we will see uh, may be good and some area will not be like that. So, user tracking, RFID concern. So, sometimes RFID is very good, but also you may actually say that you do not like to be RFID because then people can actually access you. So, if you have something RFID based, it will be easy by others to track and always people think of the misuse. So, that is why the privacy things and security things is concerning people. So, authentication and privacy are not always complemented objectives. So, you do not want your medical sensor hacked and you do not want that the data <laughs> you know tampering and computer virus all these things that actually you know create lot of problems. So, those type of issues are there and then because there is a group of people who actually make the virus, is not it. So, if you think of that there is no virus, those people will lose their job, so, is not it. So, that is really still going on. So, other people have to design some better system to attack them, to stop them, to rectify them. So, all these things will be a continuous process. And the liability and safety concern. So, some places you actually that is what I am telling that when you actually think of the smart home and the smart home tells that it will actually prevent death, there are issues you are introducing which is extra. Those type of liability things will be a big problem. So, when you have new system, people with unknowingly may say something which actually create a problem. So, the liability things. So, in critical application it is much more important. So, in medical sensor, if the medical sensor fails, you can understand what will be the consequences. So, some application it may not be that severe, but some application it will be very very important. So, that is why the when you do research especially with the, with the medical doctors, you will be finding that they are very reluctant to do something. Because he may be interested, but when he use that and something happened to the patient, then all the responsibility goes to him and that is why they are very scared. Now, I tried to try to uh, in, uh, include one of the medical doctor in my city. So, when I talk about the data, she was very scared. I told them the data we are generating. No, 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 sharing data is, uh, is a problem, we, we cannot do that. You know? So, in some country it is becoming a big issue because if something goes wrong, the doctor will be responsible and they do not want to get involved in this type of situation. But in not in every country like in, in China. Uh, doctors are very much interested to do anything. Okay. Even in, uh, uh, in Portugal, I was uh, talking to few doctors 
or they are very much interested to do something. But in New Zealand is very difficult, they are they are not interested to do anything. You know. So, there are some issues because those are the problems that if something happens who will take the responsibility because legally they are binded. So, that may delay adoption of the new technology. Software engineering is very very important because as I said I mean even in whole system main data may be coming from the wireless sensor nodes, but at the end lots of work need to be done in the software part. Okay. So, it is actually in most on the software part than the hardware because data comes, but then after that everything are software. So, there are lots of tasks the software engineering need to do. So, there are many many issues one of the how can you make your software that it at the customer point of view is very easy to use, use what are the design things you can do, how do you actually debug the software and how can you do remote access and the update is one of the issue that actually prevent like one of our problem we always face. So, the system is working, but then the software gets updating and you have written down something in a, using some software where you are actually really tied up and your system does not work then. Okay. So, you have to again restart do something new. So, that is one of the problem we face when you have got that type of situation and it is connected to internet. So, you cannot do anything sometimes we stop internet uh, so that computer does not actually need to be updated regularly. So, those are the practical issues we face. Okay, so, effectively what I want to say that there are lots of scope of research and you have to think of something out of the way and you need to justify that that thing is actually helping you in some area. So, the area is very wide, so there is no limitation on that, but what you are doing should be little bit useful in the some part of the whole system. Okay. So, need to think of that way. So, there will be some obstacles, but we have to have overcome that. Okay, so, anything any questions as I said that this is something which actually is not that I can tell everything, okay. it is the open ended problem uh, just need to give it a thought and see what can be done. No? Okay, so, I think uh, uh, Kaji uh, there is another fly, uh, slide or security I am not sure how much we have there, but just we can go through on that I think 14. So, I will just share this one because this is not this is not exactly our area of research. Okay, so, we, we, we are not expert on that, but uh, we did little bit on the on the when we did the new protocol we did little bit on security, but it is basically uh, something which is already existing. So, as we know that internet of things is actually pushing everything to be connected by internet. So, always the security is a concern. So, that is very important of introducing security. So, why security is important in IOT? So, exactly what happened if you do not have the security this actually can make lot of things which are creating unnecessary problem because there will be people there will be uh, different mentality where the complexity will come. So, one of the problem is some people will try to introduce their data which will be harmful to the system. So, you need to have security in different level, so that you prevent that type of intrusion of unauthenticated sources 
as well as also the data need to be protected. So there are a lot of issues on the security and which is very, very important in IoT applications. So as we know that Internet of Things will be everywhere, whether you say for people, data, things, process. So now you may actually say that's Internet of Everything instead of Internet of Things because with time everything will be connected to Internet. So it will be Internet of Everything. So with time it is growing, so now the world population is around 7.6 billion, but we will be expecting 50 billion objects in 2020. So everything will be connected to internet and of course we get lots of benefits. So I mean in some applications you will have internet can be very, very handy, you do not have any other alternative, is not it? So, you think of the, the smart rail, we can actually provide more security to the passenger, we can optimize the route, avoid the collisions and we can sense lot of parameters so that we avoid accidents, especially the rail line you know and the many other things it is possible using that. Smart city already coming up, you know, in India already there are designated lots of cities as smart cities for future. So, smart city, I have got another slide. So, there are lots of things which actually comes under smart city. I mean smart building itself, there are lots of complex things and the smart city is, is huge scale of delivering what we mean by smart city. Some of the things as you can see here, we can control the traffic flow, we can control the parking, lighting and also we can give different service in a much better way. So, connected car, as I said that uh, there is already a trial called Internet of Vehicles. So, effectively this connected car is coming up as a part of Internet of Things or Internet of Vehicles. So, you will have lots of sensors which will be detecting many things and then you can use that data for you know, either deciding the route which actually less traffic or many other things will be possible in the connected car. So, what is the problem? So, you will see that uh, it adds lot of complexity, is not it? So, we need new business model and there are many other things. So, which actually coming either at the application level or the infrastructure interface level. So, there is a need of different types of new sensor or new device. Okay. So, there are lots of area of research especially it gives you lots of data. So, data integration, big data, analytics, okay. so control schemes, control system, application integration. So, there are new, new research area which you have to think of. Now, IoT actually consists of two things, one is the information technology and also the operational technology, is not it? So, it is not all about the information. So, the operation technology is very, very important too. So, security is a big issue. Okay. So, we are now exposed to increased amount of attack. So, there is the threat, it has got its impact and risk. So, we have to think of how can we prevent them, is it, can we, is it possible, now how can we do that. So, protocol, compliance and regulations. So, your security aspect need to be deal into in a different way because at the end we want connectivity always. So, there are many, many important things need to be. So, most important thing is that how can you prevent somebody intruder coming in system. So, So, you cannot prevent the flow of data, is not it? So, you have to allow that connect connectivity, but at the same time you have to make your system secure. So, 
as you can see in a smart city if somebody enters in your systems can create lot of problem is not it. So, those are the things you have to prevent. So, this can be a big problem for the companies if this type of things happen as we can see that if, if uh, some telephone company you have got lots of drop call you always think of to go to a different company who give better service. So, that type of things will come here. So, it happened for some companies and there will be consequences. I mean company always their stock price is important and usually. So, there are a lot of implications if you have systems secure systems get exposed to attack. So, there are a lot of incident already happened. Uh, so, these are the few things. So, security is very important. So, always there are lots of research how can you make your system secure. Okay. So, there are lots of things going on. So, as you can see you actually work everywhere. So, it makes the system more complicated, but that is the only way. So, this is a. So, the in IT and OT is little bit different when they are actually combined for the systems. So, what can you do for two level in terms of security? So, you can see here that uh, if IT you have got some problem or attack you can actually shut down, but in case of OT you cannot do that because you you have to allow the operations. Okay. So, those are the difference and that is what the security will be completely different domain. Okay. So, there are So, it just come in the different level. So, what you need to think of is the security, but how you will implement. So, basically we have new challenge and we need to have new thinking is not it. So, that is the most important thing. So, in for future we need a sound security solution okay. and security must be pervasive, it need to be both inside and outside the network, it should be in the device level as well as data level, it should be proactive and intelligent. Intelligence also you have to think of not the only the data cover convergence analytics and also speed. Uh, sometimes if you have too much security it may be very slow, but speed is essential for real time decision. So, the, for those who are working on the security aspect there are lots of area of new research, but it is challenging. So, always you have to think of out of the way is not it new thinking so, out of the way you have to think to come up with some solution. Okay. So, this is just few things this is not from our research group response somewhere else. So, some ideas. Okay. I think we have got another slide, we will just finish it with that. Okay, so, any, any questions on that? That's, I may not be able to give you the answer, but at least you can express your view. Okay, so, this, this is the last slide we have, is not it? Yeah, I think we covered most of the thing, yeah. Okay, that is the last, yeah. Thank you.